Welcome to the Mission Viejo Sports Zone inside the MV TV studios. I'm Gordon Spencer. The Mission Viejo High School girls softball team had one goal in mind in 2014. That was to win the school's first CIF title. The last two years, they had been knocked out in the second round. They are now into the semifinals. Let's take you out to Mission Viejo High School where they take on Moore Park and Taylor McQuillan, the junior pitcher, has been spectacular all of her career. Bottom of the first no score, Alyssa Palomino will score on the Alicia Everett RBI single to right, 1-0 Mission Viejo. Bottom of the fourth, 3-0 Mission Viejo. When we see the power of junior center fielder Alyssa Palomino, that ball's still going. She blasts her 17th home run over the center field fence, 42nd career home run. A two-run shot, it is 5-0 Mission Viejo. Bottom of the five, 6-0 Mission Viejo, Kayleen Schaefer with two outs. A blast to the fence. That scores Sammy Dees. It is 7-0 Mission Viejo. Plenty of offense for junior pitcher Kayla McQuillan. That strikeout number 11. And then she's going for strikeout number 12. And the game, two-hit shutout for McQuillan as they win it 8-0 to advance to the CIF Finals for the first time since 1989. Let's take you to Bill Barber Park in the city of Irvine, Deanna Manning Stadium, where they take on the Chino Cowgirls, the number one and number two teams in Division II, and a great spot for a championship. Great crowd on hand, great support from the school. Here we go. Top of the first, first batter for Chino and Amanda Brashear, singles to center field, and the Cowgirls with a chance early. But that chance is erased quickly when Miranda Viramontes hits it in the sixth, a four to three double play to end the inning. Shiani Barra is pumped up. Bottom of the second, Cameron Ibarra reaches on an error from Mission Viejo, but Sarah Hegan gets into a double play turned by Karina Gamboa all by herself. Then the pitchers take over. Mission Viejo's Taylor McQuillan with her sixth strikeout in a row to end the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, Miranda Viramontes returns the favor. She strikes out the side. She struck out 16 of the game. Top of the sixth, how about some defense? Look at Mission Viejo first baseman, Shiani Barra, going away from home plate on the foul ball. What a catch to end the inning. Nothing settled after seven innings and still no hits for Mission Viejo. Extra innings, pitcher still unhittable. Miramontes, another strikeout. Mission Viejo's Taylor McQuillan still dealing the strikeouts in the top of the ninth. She had 17. Bottom of the ninth, a leadoff walk for Allison Harvey. One out for Taylor McQuillan. As she reaches on an error. Pinch runners now, Devin Beach and Sammy Deans on base. Then the intentional walk to the dangerous leadoff hitter, Alyssa Palomino. That loads the bases for Kayleen Schaefer who does this, gets the first hit of the game for Mission Viejo, a walk-off game-winning hit. Beach scores the winner, and Mission Viejo wins their first Division II title, one to nothing. Uh, it was a great feeling. We knew as we got deeper that the games were tougher, and uh, and this was a very, very tremendous game. You know, both pitchers did a great job. They both threw one hitters, and we just happened to get a ground ball in the end with Kayleen and uh, to go home champions. Um, you know, third time's a charm. We come out here, do what we do. Um, Losing second round the past two years has motivated us to do stronger. We never wanted to have that feeling ever again. And um, in the end, we came out on top. <laughs> yeah, it feels great. Uh, we've, our whole team has just worked so hard this year. And this was our main goal, and we achieved it. It feels unbelievable. So there you see it. One to nothing, Mission Viejo over the Chino Cowgirls, a Division II championship for the first time in school history. Chino gets the first hit. Of the game, Mission Viejo, the all-important last hit of the game, the game-winning hit, as again, they win it one to nothing. Congratulations to the Mission Viejo girls softball team on their first ever CIF championship. We're not done here on the Mission Viejo Sports Zone. Baseball, still a few more rounds to go. When we come back, we'll have highlights of high school baseball when we come back. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. 
Unbelievable action is riding your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Welcome back to the Mission Viejo Welcome Sports back. Zone inside the MVTV studios. I'm Gordon Spencer. The Tribuco Hills Mustangs baseball team has never won a CIF title. The furthest they have been is the semifinals back in 2012, and they're on a roll right now. Let's take you out to second round action. Tribuco Hills hosting Loyola, the number one team out of the Mission League. Tribuco Hills, the number three team out of the South Coast League. Tribuco Hills in a jam early, but the defense comes up with a nice six to four to three double play. Top of the third, no score. Cameron Ofterheide lets one get away. Loyola scores. Cole Malloy makes it one to nothing. Cubs. Same inning. Steven Dub will sneak a single through the left side. And Angelo Armento scores all the way from second to give Loyola a two to nothing lead. Then Nick Sablock with a runner at third, lifts one to right for the sack fly. Quinn Brody scores to make it three to nothing, Loyola. Meanwhile, the Loyola lefty, Quinn Brody, on the mound is nasty to the Tribuco Hills hitter, striking out the side, swinging in the bottom of the third. He's looking tough, but bottom of the fifth, Tribuco Hills figures it out. Brody with the bases loaded. He hurts himself with a wild one. Mustangs get on the board. Scott Major scores. Tribuco Hills down 4-1. Then Nick Mirosnichenko with an opposite field single to score Trent Whitaker. Tribuco Hills down 4-2. Kyle Beatles, a new Maloyola pitcher, greeted with a bunt by Billy Ray Search. The throw home is wild. Tribuco Hills trails now 4-3. Then Bobby, uh, Robbie Beal comes through with this high chopper, gets through. It's a double, two-run score to make it 5-4 Tribuco Hills. A five-run fifth. What a comeback. Loyola not done, though. Threatening in the seventh. Matt Majors in to close it out. Eric Del Prado singles with a runner on second. Here comes the tying run. But Cole Stanton, he's mean in center field. A one-bouncer to get him at the plate. And it's 5-4. Tribuco Hills still hanging on. But Majors has been perfect on the mound. Eight for eight in save opportunities. He gets the final out. And the Mustangs celebrate as they move on to the quarterfinals with a 5-4 win. You know, I haven't had to say much to this group. They've, uh, they've been a resilient group that's stuck with it. And I've said a million times this year that I, we almost play better when we're behind than when we're ahead. You know, and they... Never stop fighting, never stop competing. What a job Michael Burns has done with his Tribuco Hills Mustangs. They love to come from behind and win these games. Again, they were down four to nothing and they win it five to four to move on to the quarterfinals. Let's take you to that quarterfinal game at Tribuco Hills High School, taking on Orange Lutheran out of the Trinity League. Bottom of the first, some great defense by Orange Lutheran. Take a look at Josh Morgan at short. The barehanded grab to get his man. Taking care of Nick Mirosnichenko. Two on, no outs for Tribuco Hills. Garrett King, he lets the bunt drop, and that allows him to turn the double play. That kills a Tribuco Hills rally. Top of the third, some more great defense. This is Nick Mirosnichenko sliding away and getting Josh Bissonette. And then the base is loaded for Olu and the big strikeout to Bobby Fulkerson. Bottom of the fourth, no score. Cole Stanton delivers with a single to left. That scores Billy Ray Search from second. It's one to nothing, Tribuco Hills. Next batter, Robbie Beal, hits one to the right center. That's going to go for a while. An RBI double. Stanton scores. It's two to nothing, Tribuco Hills. Two batters later, Scott Majors delivers an RBI single, scoring Beal. It's three to nothing Mustangs. Top of the fifth, here comes the Olu Lancers, Josh Morgan, last one to right center, that's up against the fence. Colin Burkeen scores, the Lancers trail it three to one. It's three to two now, after five. Top of the seventh, Olu down three two, tying run at second. Garrett Calvert flies out to Grant Stoker. 
And that's it. That is your final. The Tribuco Hills Mustangs hang on to win a, another one here. Three to two. And that moves them on into the semifinals where they play Santa Margarita, another team out of the Trinity League. So uh, the other semifinal in Division One is Jay Sarah and the Foothill Knights. So an all Orange County semifinal. And the two winners of those semifinals will move on to play for a CIF championship at Dodger Stadium. We will have all the action right here on the Mission Viejo Sports Zone. Thanks for watching. Also, make sure you go to missionviejolife.org to watch these episodes online. Thanks for watching. I'm Gordon Spencer. <laughs>